What is going on guys? It is your boy Bias UK and in this video I'm gonna be breaking down the Charlotte Hornets playbook for you guys giving you guys a quick little tutorial on one of the best playbooks in this game that I know a lot of you guys don't know about. Now I'm not gonna lie I didn't even know how good this playbook really was until somebody said hey make this into a video man this playbook is insane and I honestly you know I spent some time just going through some of the plays and like they're actually pretty damn good I'm not gonna lie and what I like about them is a lot of the plays don't set up how um like how like the other ones do so people really aren't gonna recognize what you're doing so before you guys do watch this video pause the video right now pause it well don't pause it yet because you guys need to hear what I'm saying but pause the video when I get done talking here go buy this playbook this playbook is gonna skyrocket in price every time I make one of these videos a playbook will go from like a thousand MT to like <clears throat> 30k MT so make sure you buy it like ASAP obviously that is why you guys are goats and a part of the notification squad those guys are going to have a little bit better of an advantage and probably be able to pick up this playbook for cheap. I'm not stocking up the playbook. Don't worry. I'll show you guys my auction in just a second here. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys this playbook tutorial. If you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Like I said, I'm not going to set a like goal. Just if you guys don't, like if it does help you out, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe. And with that being said, let's hop right into it. As I said, the current Charlotte Hornets playbook, you guys can see right here, literally that is what it looks like. Um, it literally just says Hornets playbook on it. There's there's no numbers or anything like that. It's not a historic one. It's the current Hornets playbook. That is the one that you do need for this video. Outside of that, it doesn't matter what players you're using. It doesn't matter what your coach is. It literally just matters that you have this playbook. As I said, I tried to pull for Lance Stevenson and you see how far that went. But again, we are not stocking up on the playbook by any means the only playbook in here is the box playbook that i pulled before so obviously like i showed you guys in the miami heat playbook tutorial video which by the way actually thank you guys for getting that video to 1.1 thousand likes i didn't even like i haven't checked in forever and i don't know a part of me like like last night was like you know what i want to go back and look and i looked and yeah 1.1k likes on that video so thank you guys for that man i did not expect that video to do that well and i really do appreciate it so again to do this stuff, all you're going to do is go to play selection. Now, to, just to make this easier for the video, I'm just going to clear all these out if you guys don't know how to do it. It is square if you're on PS4, and it is X if you're on Xbox. But yeah, it literally says remove the play, get rid of them. Just like I said, it's easier for me to pull them up in the game. So, um, when you do that, um, there's like I said, there's a bunch of different plays that you guys can pull up here. Now, I'm going to go through and set these all up, and then um, I'll tell you guys why I have these plays where they are. So as I said before, these five plays right here are going to be like all set up differently from how other plays are genuinely run in this game, which is again why I think these plays are going to work so well and throw people off. So five plays I'm talking about here, quick two chest flare, punch five quick two, fist 25 floppy, fist one weave high, and quick 12 elevator. Now, doesn't matter what order you put them in for you guys. I'm just putting them this way because the first four are three point plays and then the last one is something that I think like will help you guys out a lot especially with like the hesitation of the screen sort of thing um and you guys will um obviously see what i'm talking about now the only thing i do recommend for this quick 12 elevator play is you again you hit triangle or y to assign the play to a player i do recommend assigning it to your point guard and I, you guys will see why once we get into the gameplay so those are the five plays i'm going to show you guys and uh yeah other than that you don't need to do anything else if you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBA2KInc.com. Use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. Like I said, you don't need to do anything else here. All you need to do is hit L1 if you're on uh, PS4 or LB if you're on Xbox. And then you can begin to run the play. So this first play, what I really do like about it is you guys can see right here, T-Max is going to hit this quick little cut. But right as he's hitting that cut, sometimes I will pass. That's just me smoking the release because I suck. But um, you guys saw, we got a wide open three right there. Now, the way that the play is supposed to work is once again, you guys will see as I do run the play here. Um, you guys will see, like I said, T-Mag will cut in and then immediately cut back. Now, what happens is you actually will get that wide open three right there. I don't know why. I mean, literally every time I record a video, I swear to God, I can't hit a green. But before this, I was greening literally every shot. Like, yes, I know it's against the computer. But that's the point I'm trying to make is like all of a sudden now I can't hit a shot, which it figures, but it is what it is. So again, you guys will see from this play, T-Mag will cut in and initially come back around. That will give him that wide open three. Now online, what's going to happen is a lot of people try to off ball situations like they off ball their like the two or the three. 
um and that's what sort of like a lot of people try to do and they think that by doing that it'll help them obviously you know get more stops and stuff like that so say somebody is trying to off ball this play which actually really quick what i'm gonna do is i just want to remind you guys to do this go to coaching settings go to play vision and always put this on full you want to make sure that this is on full so you guys can actually see the whole entire play on the court so again we're gonna hit quick two chest flare and you guys will see if team mac or somebody's trying to off ball team right here and he cuts in like that they're gonna get stuck on multiple screens and you guys can see we get wide open for a massive three right there like nobody was even close to contesting that shot so like i said when you run this play a few times what's actually gonna happen is like i said people will try to catch on and stuff like that and obviously that's gonna how that's how it's gonna be with every single time you run a play in 2k you guys know that i know that it is what it is you know people are gonna catch on that's why i tell you guys all the time in the last video you can't just spam the same play so sometimes like i said when this play does start working i will quickly pass this ball right here because harden will get stuck on that screen whoever their two is they'll get stuck on that screen and when you pass it right away t mac will stay at the top of the key and you just get another wide open three that way so like i said even though the play actually technically breaks down and you do get a you know a different look it's still a really good look so same thing again quick two chest flare we're gonna run this one more time here we're gonna step up a little bit you know do a little of this a little bit of that you see t mac is gonna get wide open again Jokic got stuck on that screen and the thing i do like about this too is as you saw right there i was kind of hoping it was going to happen a little bit more than once so you guys will see it too um but mismatches actually happen a lot from this play because with the way that this game works is if like you know ai like if they're like locked into a player and that player runs into a crowd kind of like how t-mac is right here sometimes players will get locked on the different players and it just does really work out i don't know why but it does so you guys can see you're getting that wide open three basically every single time so the next play i'm going to show you guys is punch five quick two now same thing again you're gonna you're gonna make it so this is up on the screen you're gonna make these two quick passes here and then now you're in the post look at this t-mac boom wide open again unfortunately i screwed up that release but if you have a point guard like this is where honestly like these bigger point guards are really going to come in handy so if you're somebody that likes running ben or um Giannis or even like lebron at the one this play is probably going to destroy people for you. Um, the reason why is because your point guard is actually the one that goes and sets a screen that frees up your shooting guard. So if you have a guy, like I said, that's like, you know, one of those guys, like, oops, that I just said, um, again, they're going to get, you know, pretty, uh, they're going to get pretty stuck. So again, you make these quick two passes here. I always like to do this and make it look like I'm going in the post. Oh my God, of course, because they double teamed the play broke down, which is fine. But um, again, we're going to do this here. We're going to just post up. We're not even going to try to back them down. But again, you guys can see Harden is getting virtually wide open for that three. We kind of ran out of time, so I had to force that ball up. But here, I'll show you guys this again. Um, do this. Post up with AED. You guys will see Melo will go set that screen. And boom, you get a wide open three with actually it's you know now that i'm seeing this it's actually with anybody so whoever you run the playthrough is actually who's going to set that screen so i do recommend running this play through your um small forward if you guys aren't using you know ben or Giannis at the one so again i'm actually going to go ahead and run this through with Melo. i didn't even know that this play could you could do that because most of the time it'll make you throw it to your point guard or whatever so we're going to go ahead and do that again um we're going to run this with Melo. you guys will see i'll post up with ad he's going to do this hard is going to set that screen we're going to get wide open for another easy three like I said, you, the only thing is with online is you can't spam these plays because if I saw somebody spam these plays, I would like kind of catch on a little bit. But the thing is about them is, as I said, they don't look like normal plays in this game. So a lot of the times you're going to throw, you're going to be able to throw people off with these. I'm going to show you guys this play one more time. Punch five, quick two. Again, same thing. We're going to pass it. Actually, no, no, I lied. We're going to run this through mellow. So again i do recommend using this play actually with your small forward i think that's like the best way to do it post up they go and set that screen boom you're wide open at the top of the key with an easy three these are really good for spotlight challenges too you guys need to understand like when you guys are trying to get open threes and stuff like that these work perfectly so the next play is fist 25 floppy the what the reason why i like this play is because you actually do get two chances at getting an open three so right here you guys will see t mac is going to be the one that gets wide open on that side but basically what happens is they both circle around like that and i do you know i think that's like a play that could work online like if you go up against somebody that knows how to read plays the thing is they have to pick a side now that's why i like that play is because most plays are very one dimensional in the, in the sense that like there's only one side there's only one person that's running around there's only one thing 
The reason why, like I said, I like this is because there's two. So you guys will see Harden's going to set that screen. Melo and Harden are going to get wide open. So it really just depends on what side your opponent wants to defend. If you are noticing that, you know, they're jumping the sides of, you know, like the same side, focus on the other side. If they're switching back and forth, it's really going to be like, it's really going to become a chess match of who kind of guesses right. Because if you guess right, you're going to be able to get that wide open three, especially if you're good at greening pull up shots. You'll be able to hit those and your opponent will be on the other side trying to jump the wrong passing lane so i'll show you guys this one more time on this play um this is like it's a good play like i said i do like it because you do have to make your opponent choose really who they're defending but i do like the other two a little bit better that is why i put them before this one but same thing here we're gonna run this play Melo's gonna come around hard is gonna come around neither of them got open it's literally as simple as hey okay it didn't work i'm gonna set this up or set up another play. So same thing. They're going to do whatever. Mel is going to get wide open this time. We greened it, but KD got hit with an illegal screen. All right. So the next play is going to be fist one weave high. Now this play is very interesting to say the least here. Um, you guys will see Mello already got wide open for that three. This play, I'm not going to lie, is one of the closest things that you can find to the Warriors freelance from last year. You guys know what freelance I'm talking about. It had those cheesy little, you know, screens on the sides and the guys would come up and that's really what made it so effective last year so again we're gonna run the same thing here you guys will see katie's gonna set that screen for mellow mellow's cutting wide open again getting that easy wide open three at the top of the key this is like i said like the warriors freelance was so cheesy last year that i never thought i would find this again and the fact that like i said i found it in this playbook it's actually kind of funny so works out for me um i and obviously you guys now I know there's going to be a lot of people that are freaking out probably after seeing this video being like, oh my God, people are going to know how to run plays. Yeah, no shit. It's okay. It's basketball. You're going to have to know how to stop plays regardless. Now, again, if people are spamming these plays, they are very easy to read. I'm not going to lie at the same time. This playbook is going to get very annoying going up against, especially because like I said, you can't really recognize the plays until they're already happening, which um, is what makes this playbook, I think, so special. I, I, in, I, in a way, I think this is going to be better than the heat playbook but we'll see so again same thing i'm gonna run this here we're gonna stand here now obviously if you see somebody standing still you know that they're running a play that's the only thing that you guys have to you know recognize like in your head that when you're playing if you see somebody standing still they're probably trying to set up a play or get a play to run whatever it may be so i'm gonna show you guys this one more time here please don't foul him please don't foul him thank you Giannis for three okay so same thing fist one weave high i'm gonna walk over to the spot Mel is coming around that screen. You're getting wide open every single time. The last play is something that I do really like as far as an ISO sort of play. So quick 12 elevator. This is the play that I told you guys to assign this to your shooting guard. So you guys will see AD is going to come up and set the screen. If you run into that screen, you will get that wide open three ball almost every single time. Now, because you're not five outing and doing this nine times out of your not nine times out of ten your opponent isn't going to recognize the fact that you're trying to do like that screen hezzy three thing right you know that most players do that is not a foul but okay but anyway now that the computer is done hoeing me you guys saw that foul and they immediately double team me the minute i crossed half court so quick 12 elevator is the next play i'm going to be showing you guys now this play the reason why i do like it like i said is because you will get this hezzy wide open mid range or mid-range yeah that wide open three now again the reason why i told you guys to assign it to your point guard is it puts the ball in the shooting guard's hands now the reason why like i said that's so important is because if you're using a point guard like ben Giannis, lebron westbrook whatever whoever it may be um you know you're gonna want to put the ball in a, a like a guy like t-mac wade those sort of guys derozan brandon brandon roy those kind of guys are a lot better to run this playthrough because they do have that quick hezzy and that three-point shot sorry i have the hiccups go figure you know it's only when i start recording really um but yeah so like i said you really want to make sure that you're putting the ball in their hands so you can sit here and run this play what will happen is your shooting guard will come running over there you go again and then you'll see this play will break down or run this play will run and the way it breaks down is it that screen hits and if you run through it like that and you do like that little hezzy move you will get that wide open three now if your opponent knows how to guard that it's entirely okay because if you actually see like the way that the play goes the rest of the way as i'll show you guys right now um as soon as t-mac is uh done doing whatever if the computer keeps double teaming me i might just lose my mind so again if you let the play or play break down here and say okay you know what this three is covered right now right now you have a mismatch right here. Now, obviously, you know, KD on AD isn't that much of a mismatch. 
Bro, what is even happening anymore? Like, this is literally 2K in a nutshell. Like, you try to post up and he just drops the ball. But you guys get the point that when the play breaks down, you're nine times out of ten, you're going to get that mismatch down low. Now, obviously, that's just because KD was on me for whatever reason. You guys got the point. When that mismatch or when you guys do run through, like, that screen, what will end up happening is you will get a mismatch down below uh, on the post. I couldn't do it literally halfway through the fourth quarter. The computer was just sitting there double teaming me every single time. And I mean, every single time I started running through the screen, they would double team me and T Mac would drop the ball. So I'm not about to stress myself out over a playbook video. So you guys get the point though. The playbook is actually very good, especially with a lot of these three point plays. So I hope this video did help you guys out. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like on it. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, we just hit 5,000 followers on Twitter as well. So if you guys do want to follow back, you know what I'm saying? Be sure to like this video and tweet it at me and I will be following some of you guys back. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, before this video ends, I did just want to let you guys know that I did recently get partnered and obviously most of you guys already know that, but I'm going to be live streaming almost every single day, all day. Um, depending on whatever we're playing, um, well, obviously just depend on my mood for that day, but my Twitch is on the screen, twitch.tv slash bio2k with an underscore, and you guys can see it on the screen. Um, and then also, obviously, I do have a Twitter if you guys want to drop a follow over here as well. The links to both of those are going to be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, peace.